Okay, so um, the first method of organogenesis is through direct method. Um, we can get it directly from those advantageous buds, right? Because they have those mitotic cells, means those meristematic cells. So simply you just add growth regulators, you add your auxin or cytokinin, and then directly we can get the shoot and the root formation. Advantages in vitro meal. So this technique is used during multiplication in micropropagation system. So it's used, micropropagation is basically your, your plant tissue culture, no? When you have to propagate something in this, in the lab, okay, inside the test tube and you want to propagate many, okay. So when you propagate something means when you, um, what to say, produce something in the lab uh, under the sterile conditions, that is your micropropagation. I think I will give uh, one extra note on micropropagation, uh, even though um, it's not there, I think, in the syllabus. But then to understand fully what is plant tissue culture, I think I better just give you the note. I won't explain. You can just go through on your own. So here you can see direct organogenesis. Simply they just took the, the shoots, no, here the, the shoot but like um, for or the root part, for example, the, you know, the, um, what to say, the roots of onion, you can take those, they are very, uh, the tips, just the tip part, uh, when you do your mitosis, no, that experiment, you are taking only the root tip part, you take that, it's enough, okay, so you just add um, auxin and, or cytokinin, so you can get the root and the shoot, okay. Okay, so everything they've written here, I've explained in words. It will be easy enough. You can just go through. Then through callus formation, we can produce organs, organogenesis. So uh, we can regenerate the plant from cultured explants like the cotyledon, etc. Where we can initiate basal callus formation and then shoot bud formation. So... Um, uh, it is uh, where we will produce cells, okay? It means don't add the oxygen cytokinin. You just produce the cell, cell part. So I have told you about the solid medium and the liquid medium, no? Solid medium for those parts like the leaf, you know, or the stem which, can, which you can make it stand, right? Liquid medium are the cellular part, the tissue parts. So you have to add the plant hormones, okay? Growth regulators means plant hormones uh, so that you can uh, do successful organ regeneration, okay? So it, um, uh, the callus, it has different kinds of cells, okay? Uh, and some cells, they are good cells, the meristematic ones. Some cells have a lot of vacuole, okay, a lot of useless space. So when you subculture, you want to favor the meristematic cells. So you have to uh, adapt your media, okay, your culture media, your growth media in such a way so that you will get the maximum output, okay. So... Um, if you increase your auxin, uh, if you increase your uh, cytokinin, you will get more shoot formation. Okay. If you lower the auxin, you will get less root formation. So that you you already know. So we can uh, get organ. We can regenerate organ in a cell uh, suspension. Uh, you know, I have already told you or callus culture. It's the same thing, I'm just repeating again and again. So these are the diagrams. This is how the callus looks like, okay? The, the white mass of cells, no? This is how it looks like. So here they've added the cytokinin 
and then you can see the shoot is coming out. Then here again this is callus, no? Then they added the auxin and then the roots came out. So just simply just photos. Okay, these are better photos of your callus here. These are the callus. This is probably a, a plant part, could be a, looks like a shoot, no? Then here the the callus is starting, here the callus is matured. Okay, then here they have added the auxins to get the roots and shoots. Here they have planted in the nursery and here it's taken to the greenhouse.